Hi, Fabio. It's lovely to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Listen, I wanted you to tell me all about this new collaboration that your students are doing with Birkenstock. How did this all come about? Well, it came back a while ago. I mean, it, is, it has been a long journey, but uh, a very pleasurable one and, and also a really, really interesting one, I think, for us, but um, mainly for the students. I mean, it's been a really formative process with a great outcome, as, uh, as we can see today. But um, it came about as um, it's a project that was divided in two parts. There was um, a very academic one in a way, but also like, you know, um, uh, which was about the, the archives, and about really identifying the Birkenstock archives, which don't really exist in one place, so at least are scattered across the world. So students from a course called uh, uh, Fashion History and Theory uh, traveled uh, to New York, to, uh, to Tokyo, and um, in order to, to gather information from different hubs of Birkenstock history. Um, and when that uh, interaction with the archive was done, when that documentation was sort of ready, at that point, uh, Birkenstock um, approached us, MA Fashion, to, uh, uh, to respond in, in terms of design. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really interesting because, I mean, you, you don't really get that kind of project that often. And the fact that you connect uh, design, obviously, to archival material is really, it's really important. It's about the identity of a brand. So it was a huge opportunity, but, uh, but super interesting for us. And so uh, what would, would you say was the, the biggest surprise for you? Because I know this is a multi-layered collaboration until now we have, of course, these prize winners with these amazing Birkenstocks that they've created. But what was, with all of that, what was the, maybe the biggest surprise for you in, the, in this whole process? And then also maybe the biggest challenge? I think the biggest surprise for me may be different from the one that the student had. Uh, I think that to me, the surprise was the, the commitment to uh, such an endeavor from, from a brand. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it shows quite a lot of integrity, but also um, being firm on their ground. So there is a solidity to that, to that, to that approach. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do. And, and also it was great to, um, to see that they perceived us as um, a partner they could collaborate with in terms of design. So, you know, I mean, they, recently they, they've, they've been known to collaborate with really incredible, iconic houses and, and designers. And it was great that they saw as part of that project as well. And so that to me, the, the, the commitment was what really surprised me. It, it doesn't say that other brands don't have this uh, a level of commitment, but I think this one in particular was exceptional. Yeah, no, I, I have my um, Valentino Birkenstocks in my closet, so I know what you're talking about. So to be on that same level, to have your students have their version of a Birkenstock when you're seeing these other designers, that must be such, such a thrill. And for you, I mean, you mentioned before that their archive was kind of scattered all over the world. I mean, it was great for the students because they got to travel, but would you say that was the biggest challenge or was something else uh, the challenge of this whole process, would you say? So the, 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 there were different challenges. I mean, the, the archive uh, research was, was the challenge was to uh, to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, like Birkenstock is an historical brand. I mean, it's a brand that has existed for for a long time. And uh, what happens with brands that could define as heritage brands? Not necessarily the archive are that obvious to decipher. Mm -hmm. you know, we take it for granted that houses have an archive somewhere, but generally it's actually quite a difficult room or rooms or places or locations, garages, whatever it is that you, yeah. you find in, in uh, uh, you know, scattered around the world. There you go. But um, no, I think that what was really fantastic was to see the, how rich it was and how um, forward thinking it was in, in time. And I think that was very inspirational for the students, but I, I guess that they can, they can talk about that. But I think that, you know, to start from something that is purely defined as a almost a medical product mm -hmm. to then a, you know, a, a, a brand that then engages with, with high fashion, yep. then that, 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 that's, it's, it's a fantastic journey to, uh, to, to, to witness and to be part of. And with with the the students themselves, you said your surprises in relationship to the to the the brand were probably different than theirs. Do you think what do you think theirs were? Where do you think that they were kind of surprised? Because I I mean I was surprised by the the variety of of the interpretations of such a classic piece from from the four winners. But tell me what you think for them was the biggest aha moments. 
Yeah, I mean, the variety was, was, there was even more variety because I mean, first of all, uh, the project was open to all MA fashion students. Uh, 10 were selected mm -hmm. to go forward to first samples, prototypes, mm -hmm. and eventually out of a whole process of trial and, um, and, and literally testing. And that was also some that was, not, not that you didn't know about it, but you didn't know how thorough that was to actually mm -hmm. make sure that no matter what your creative statement is, then it needs to be a comfortable shoe on your foot. Yeah. As, you know. Yeah, um, the end of the day, comfort. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, that, that's, that's very much the, well, the DNA of any, any shoe brand, I would assume, but Birkenstock even more so. Mm -hmm. um, so um, to answer your question, I got lost as usual. <laughs> well, there's surpri the surprises for the students. Do you think that there was something in particular about the, their well, aha moment or in the process that was the real, you know, learning moment, let's say, for them? Well, to discover that 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 actually there was a lot you can do with some with 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 an object that seems to be so specifically defined, and that's it. I mean, I think that you know uh, they were encouraged to uh, to 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 bring their creativity first and foremost, really. Uh, also, because if you don't bring that, then it's not commercial, mm -hmm. which is something that students really don't really necessarily love to engage with that idea. They think that commercial is a really bad word, but if you're not if you don't offer a level of creativity, a level of difference, something that just makes you dream or engage with, then it's not a commercial uh, uh, product. It's just a, something that doesn't really... It's a piece of art as opposed to... And that, I think that that, that liberation with, with, you know, a project that came as Birkenstock and a piece of paper that doesn't sound like, you know, oh my God, I'm going to be super avant-garde. I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to be like, you know, um, you know, because our students, obviously, being in an art college, they love the idea of being associated to art at all times. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but very quickly, I think that, you know, in, in this project, we could really make them see that actually that's what was required of them. Mm -hmm. So you said that the, the entire level was, you know, could participate. Everybody had their shot, you know, everybody could get their golden ticket and then it was whittled down to 10 and then the final winners what do you think it was about the final winners that uh, that the jury, that Birkenstock was like, yeah, this one, you know, what was it about them that you think set them out from the, that final 10, would you say? Well, the, the wearability, uh, the commerciality of it, uh, again, as I said, no matter how uh, maybe ex perceived as extreme, mm -hmm. um, on how sellable, how commercially attractive that, that idea is. And I think that the, the four designers selected all have a point of view that, that makes, makes of their design a great product. And I think that that was very important as well as the wearability because I think the Birkenstock staff have, have been trying those, those sandals for a long time. It was very much out of the comfort zone, especially, you know, a couple, yeah. one particular. I think I know which one. Um, <laughs> but actually, surprisingly, it is a very comfortable one. <laughs> um, good to know, good to know. Uh, what about you personally? What, you know, because Birkenstock has, have been around for a while. What is your initial connection to the brand? Like, what's your, what's your you know, um, or, origin story with, with the house? Do you, have you always had a pair in your closet? Well, who hasn't? I mean, I definitely do. I mean, you know, it's, it sounds like a cliche, doesn't it? Yeah. But, you know, no, no wonder that, you know, it's like, it is, it is a quintessential sandal for summer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, really, genuinely, I don't, I, you know, for, for me, summer is, is about wearing Birkenstocks because it's like so, so easy. But that, it, it also, it, it, it defines you too. It just gives you, a, somehow, it's, it is an acceptable sandal to wear in all occasions. You know, yeah, especially you know. if it's a if it's a designer version, I would imagine that that's even better. But yeah, no, definitely summer is only really happen when you can finally slide on your Birkenstocks for sure. Um, we, we, all have, we all have a favorite. We all have the one that really we feel most comfortable in, and 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 it's a it's it's a comfort zone that we don't want to get out of, and therefore we always buy that pair. And we continue you know, until it's completely worn out, and we get another one and another one. Yep, we are in the same boat on that. I am absolutely in agreement. But and and now looking forward to the future. So you've had this, you know, great collaboration, this long process. Is there is this something that you want to continue to do with Birkenstock? Was this a one shot, or do you want to have future generations of, of students at your school take advantage of this kind of partnership? 
It's it's a great partnership, but I, I think that we lack everything that is great. I mean, of course, I would, you know, we would love to do anything with Black and Stark uh, moving forward, not necessarily the same kind of project. Mm. I mean, I think that, you know, the, what makes it uh, great is that it is unique and, and it, it stands uh, in its own right. If we were to do that every year, I think, it, you know, it would become very boring for mm. an audience. Like, you know what again the, the the next selection of csm and may fashion really i mean like once is, is fantastic yeah. and that's that sometimes we need to uh we need to respect that and we need to sort of you know you, you don't want to bore people no but, but i mean honestly different. honestly i think you could i mean get away with it isn't the right term but considering the the birkenstock that your designers the winning designers created I think that you could keep doing it for a while. They're so original, they're so great. And I think that also is thanks to you and your guiding hand because you know, for them to get to that point to make something that's both comfortable and creatively pushing the envelope is a testament also to the work that you do. So thank you so much for, for doing that and for being such a great teacher. Mm -hmm. In any case, listen, Fabio, let me know the next collaboration if it's with, I don't know, if you're gonna go with Uggs or if you're gonna go with, <laughs> I'm trying to think of another footwear line or Manolo or whatever, but keep me posted on all of your plans because I this is just such a super collaboration. I really appreciate you taking the time to tell me all about it so it can spread the word. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.